XTO Energy is an oil and gas company. Um, they are the largest oil and gas company in the United States right now, but they're pretty quiet about it. Um, I am an environmental engineer there right now and slowly transitioning into a production engineering role. So just day-to-day -day activities. Um, there's a lot of regulations that are coming out from state agencies and um, also federal agencies that we've got to implement. So I'm just pretty much in charge of uh, making sure that mostly the air um, regulations that are coming out, we're really relaying that back to the field and then also with working with state and federal agencies. You know, I wanted to get out into the big city, but I've always wanted to, I just have been trying to claw my way back to Oklahoma City since I left and I enjoy the big city, but my, my family, my friends and everything I grew up with is back here. So um, I finally got back in September after about six years. So it was a, it was a long haul, but um, it's good to be back home for sure. The biggest thing I learned was just pretty much anything that gets thrown at you, whether it's something that you think you want in or things that you, you know, don't really necessarily think or consider yourself um, being involved with, just take it on. And I think that's the biggest advice is when, when opportunities come your way, it may not be expected and it may not be what you want, but just move forward with it um, and, and do it to the best of your ability. My family, we grew up from very, very humble beginnings. So uh, my grandparents came over with absolutely nothing. And with them and my, my parents, they were able to kind of establish themselves from now just being, you know, middle class. And that's huge to do. But during the time when I was growing up, we didn't have a whole lot of, you know, financial flexibility. So going to college, um, you know, my parents were able to supplement me as much as they could and whatever I, I couldn't, um, you know, get from them or try to burden them with, I, I applied for tons of scholarships. I, I finished school, I got a job and, you know, fortunately with my company ExxonMobil, they do a three to one matching program. and. You know, you go from somebody who's eating like ramen noodles or, you know, just scrounging to get by to somebody who's now making a, a, a good sum of money that you don't really know what to do with. And most people buy cars and stuff. And it was just for me, I wanted to give back to the university with the help of my company and their matching program. It was really easy to do. And so it, it turns out once I made the donation um, and I set up an endowment, I didn't want to necessarily just give a lump sum and be done. Um, but they were, you know, they kind of, uh, the university kind of talked me through what an endowment was and it gives back for the remainder of, of the university in, in its in existence, which was really neat to do. Um, but it took me some time. It took me probably about two or three years to pay off the whole endowment. But now it's established and we're good to go. And, you know, it, I get, you know, letters from scholarship um, accept, acceptees. Uh, every year and they kind of tell me their progress and it's just neat to know that I was in that boat about six years ago and I was able to kind of help along the process so 